Uh, so I'm not going to dwell on how impressive it was, but I just want to uh, give a few tips for them in the future. Uh, the first thing is about the introduction. Uh, the introduction should be short and snappy and contextual to the speech that they are delivering. I found that some students uh, made their introductions rather long and they went into uh, speaking a lot about uh, the original speaker of the speech, uh, which I felt, you know, took away their time uh, from the original speech. So I think that is something that they should have awareness of. However, there's a couple of kids who really um, introduce an element of analysis in their introduction, which I was very impressed with. Um, about declamation speeches, uh, I think for a very long time, everybody believed that declamation speeches were only made by politicians. So it was really heartening to see that, uh, you know, the collection of speeches included uh, some speeches with humor, some speeches which were delivered casually. It was not only about politics. So that was good, but declamation speeches essentially had to convey the passion of the speaker in an effort to kind of inspire the audience. Uh, so I think if that is kept in mind in future speeches, I think you all will be able to extend the repertoire of speeches presented and we will not have repetition, like we're not listening to the same speech two or three times. Otherwise, uh, what can I say? I am floored by the performance and thank you very much for this enjoyable morning. Vincia? All right, um, just adding to what Dipali had to say, uh, it was amazing to watch such you know, diverse pieces on screen and all the boys did fabulously well. Just a few things that you know we repeatedly thought everyone was you know, doing this, not pausing enough to convey the meaning of the phrases. Yeah, there were some beautiful pauses in between, but you know, we have to keep that throughout when we are speaking, right? Only then, uh, and it's important to gauge your audience, change the voice accordingly, your tone, your expression. Yes, um, you guys did well, if your hard work is evident, but maybe a little more exploring that area of pausing. So pausing is not only because there's a comma or a full stop, I'm sure you all know that, but it is also for you to breathe correctly. Sometimes, you know, it was seen that, you know, you all paused because it was, you know, out of breath at some point. Don't do that, okay? It was amazing to watch the whole thing, but keeping this in mind, body language was great. You got your posture, you got your character, you know, you actually made us believe that you are speaking the speech from this great personality. So good job with that. And kudos to all of you. Great job. about the gesticulations yes gestures thank you Dipani. so uh gestures were some character gestures were superb a little thing that i noticed that every action that you you know is there like a verb you don't need to an action along with that yeah sometimes the way you speak denotes what you're trying to say so do not use actions for everything maybe only you know because only the words that you feel need that kind of emphasis to use your hand gestures Sometimes there was a little limitation in terms of hand gestures. Sometimes there was, it was overly dramatic. So we, we're going to try to balance that. When out. it is overused, uh, it distracts the audience. So the audience. they're looking at your hand. Yeah, and everybody thoughts. connected to this competition deserves yes. a round of applause. And thank yes. you, judges, for this appreciation. Pleasure. Welcome. Thank it's you. Pleasure. I would, I would uh, like to say now that we will be taking a break for namaz and lunch. And we shall resume at 2 o'clock for the finals. Okay, so the finals.